Chevy to add to the collection well you know I just had so many box Chevys over the years that I pretty much had all of them uh, not all of them like all of them I'm saying like I just had pretty much every uh, every style so uh, if I'm gonna keep one I want to keep the one that I feel like it's the best one for me and what I'm looking for is the 89 Chevy Caprice LS Broham it has to have leather seats and it's got to be an 89 why a 89 well because i was born in 1989 and i just feel like 89 caprice is like the best year out there uh in my opinion because it's the first year that they made throttle body so it's like feel injected uh, the 90 is also the same uh, i like 90s you know the difference with the 90 you know they got the seat belt on the door uh, i'm not really a fan of that it doesn't really matter to be honest, but if I'm gonna choose, I'm just gonna choose the 89 just because that's what I like because that's the year I was born. So, so yeah, um, back to the subject. I was looking for one that, um, I was looking for a black one. I love white ones, but I just feel like there's just so many white ones out there. Um, there's just a lot of them out there, like, you know, not saying that it's bad. I love them. I mean, even yesterday seeing my old one, me driving behind it, it just looks so nice. Um, I just like the tail lights in the box Chevy. They just not the Euro one. I, I love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's honestly what made me like box Chevys ever since I was in high school and seeing them tail lights. I, I, I don't know what it is, but um, this car is a black one. It's leather, and uh, it was owned by older people. Now the story with this car is, I had seen this car on Sunday, my buddy had sent it to me, and uh, it was located in Iowa, and I contacted the guy, well by the time I contacted the guy, he had already had like 15 people online, I mean, in line to go see the car. So that will make me number 16. That's gonna be hard to get, right? So obviously I did not get it. The first person went, the first person bought it because he actually told me that there was a guy coming the next day from Peoria and I believe this is the guy that I'm going to go see right now. Um, so yeah, the guy told me a lot, of, a lot of history on that car. He had told me that he had bought it from the original owner and he owned it for two years. And then uh, that he just had to sell it to get something more reliable. Uh, that he hated to sell it, but that he had to sell it. So I mean, I think that it was a sign that the car was meant for me, but I won't know that until I get there and see the car. I'm really hoping that it's in good shape, and you know, if it is, I think this is going to be the one that I'll be keeping because, like I said, it has everything that I wanted it, it uh, which is black with leather and just, you know, unmolested. I, li I like to get them all original, unmolested, and to me, they just look and ride the best you know they're just so comfortable with the pillow seats and stuff so i can't wait to get there um i've been on the road for like an hour so got more hour one hour left and i'll show you guys the car once you get there so what the yep gang that is my co-pilot baby I think he's tired, you know, he works so hard, all he does is eat, sleep, and use the bathroom, look at him, he looks so innocent, only if y'all knew that he just pooped in my other truck on the way to the shop, yep, must be nice pal, must be nice, 
All right, gang. Well, I'll check back with y'all once we get to the car. All right, gang. It looks like we made it to our destination. I can already see the car. It looks like the guy got a couple cars here. I see an Impala says. And I see the box Chevy right here. Let me give him a call, gang. Because yeah. uh, the reason why I did that, I uh, said my grandma, man, it's just yesterday, day for yesterday. Yeah. It's locked out, man. So. Yeah, um, I had seen, like I said, my, my guy had sent me this car, and I, I was going through the same thing, bro. My uh, my wife's grandpa passed away, so yeah. I was over there with them. And he had sent me the car because, I, I I mean, I was in the whole week. I, I haven't been, like, working or whatnot. And he had sent it to me, and then when I got home, I just clicked on it just because he was my guy. So I yeah. left the message, and I seen the car. I was like, damn, that's uh, 89. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, when I looked at it, and they said Iowa. And uh, I called the guy, and he was like, man, uh, I got 15 people yeah. waiting on the list. <laughs> and he said, the guy from, uh, I got a guy from Peoria coming. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's like this. Man. Yeah, he had told it was five. It was five for me. Yeah, it was five for me, and yeah. he was like, he was telling me the whole story that he had bought it from, uh, like, the original owner. Yeah, his neighbor. Was, yeah, was his like neighbor. Lived around the corner from him. Yeah. All right, man. Well, let's check this car out, gang. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All these car needs. It's some white walls. Bumper filler looks good. Sucks that it's raining. Uh, yeah, looks like it's dirty. But it's not cracked. Oh, does it got cracks? Uh, oh, it is cracked right here. I see the cracks. But it's still on there, so can't be too bad. You know, this car is supposed to be in the garage. All cleaned up, shined up, having that black shiny. See at the top looks, looks good. I don't see no cracks. Oh, it's missing. It's missing this bumper filler. Actually, you know what? They, they come in the mail. I got them. Oh, you got them? Yeah, they come in the mail. You didn't get them soon enough, huh? Did you get black ones or a gray one? Oh, you know how they got some black ones and some gray ones? Yeah, I got the black ones. You got the black ones? Is it open? Yeah, it's open. open. Check out that leather. You selling that Impala too, right? Or no? Um, that's your that one, There's another one in my garage. Oh, okay. Garage. You got a couple. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, they, you know, they're on the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy was telling me he didn't want to sell it, but he was looking for get a pickup or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Actually, you know what? His pickup, it was weird. We had to go to the bank and he had to, he had to pay this. The money, was, the money I gave him, he went to the bank to pay his pickup. So he wasn't lying. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. He had said something like that, but you know. Yeah. Say he hated, he hated that he had to sell it. Oh, yeah. I don't want to open the door so much. Did you see any flaws in the body? I know it's wet, so it's gonna suck. Um, yeah. Did, did you? You uh, you trailer it or you drove it four hours? Yeah. Oh, you drove it back? Yeah, I drove it. Nice. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was gonna just drive it back if if I was buying right now, and then uh, just yeah. What was it over there? Was it like farmland or was it like more city? Farmland. Was farmland? Just like.
How does under the hood look cleaner now? It's dusty, but it's clean. Yeah, dusty, dusty. It's dusty, but it's trusty. Four hour drive, made it back. Yeah. Cruise control. Radio working. Radio working. You can hear the heater kicked on already over there. I see the fire. Right there. Five no. Ah man, I like the game. Let me chop it up with them real quick, see what we can do. I don't even think I gotta drive it. So. Uh, yeah, let me talk to him real quick. All right, gang. So we made it happen. I'm pretty sure y'all knew I was gonna get this car once y'all heard how happy I was. Cause man, I just wanted to leave. I even cut it short just cause I was trying to like, you know, get out of there, just take it home with me. Uh, man, you guys don't understand. This is like the car I was looking for or what I've been looking for, you know? 89 box Chevy LS Brohan with leather seats Missing a bumper filler here It's got a little, you know, but Bumper fillers ain't nothing, he's gonna give them to me He said he had ordered a set, he was gonna receive here soon So he's gonna, I'm gonna meet up with him next week and probably get them from him If not, I can just order a set uh, They're not that expensive, they're like 30 some dollars um, Hey, can y'all see the headliner from here? It's got like some aluminum things that go across to hold it down it must have been sagging at one point or they just put it on there but i don't know guys i just i'm just super happy right now like i said i, I kind of got my chevys now you know i got my 75s and now i got my 89 and you know um i've been looking for a while and they either too much for the price and or the condition is not what i'm looking for and like i said this one was not too bad it was around you know what i was looking for the condition that i was looking for the stuff, every car is going to need something, so I'm not expecting this car to be perfect because they are old, you know, they're 89, they're as old as me. So, you know, I look at a lot of things and this car is not missing anything. I just, I just love it, man. The only thing that I want to do uh, as of now is just put some white walls. Sometimes, uh, I know the guy had told me that he put new tires, the original guy, not this guy. But I don't think these are white walls. Sometimes they're just flipped. But if not, I'm sure I can find a set and put them on. And maybe throw a light tint, you know? I don't know. I'm kind of liking this black with the light tint now, you know? On old schools. Yeah, like I said, it's got these little perfections. But, you know, paint job will fix that. But it's still presentable. I'll still drive it like this, you know? I'm not looking to showcase this car. I just bought this just because I enjoy driving it. I enjoy driving box Chevy. This was my first car back in high school. This is all I used to drive. And I used to love it, man. They just feel so nice. And they float. This one, you know, it's got the pillow seats. Leather, you know. And it's in good condition. Look at that. Super nice. Power everything. And everything works, you know. Power locks work, the windows, the seat works. See that? Yeah. I can't, back to, I can't wait to get back and start working on it, but you know, the most important thing is that we got it and it's mine now. So, super happy, man. I'm excited about this one. So, yeah. I want everybody to get in the conversation. Let me know what y'all think of my latest pickup, the 1989 Chevy Caprice LS Broham. With only got like 50k on it, original miles. It even says on the title, so I think we score, gang. Yep. Well, time to head back. Also, I'm not too happy with my little Frenchie because he decided to take a poop while I was looking at the car. I tried bringing him down, but he's you know he's since he's so he's so little, he still be scared and stuff, so. I had to put him back in the truck because I didn't want him to get hurt. And he decided to take a poop on my floor mat. Luckily, my floor mat is rubber, so I just left it right here. You see that? 
poop. Good job, Billy. Good job. Well, time to hit the road because I'm hungry, man. I got a two hour drive and I'm trying to get back. Hurry up and use the bathroom. Let me guess, you don't want to use it no more because you used it in the truck. Don't look at me like that. Come on, Belly. Go ahead. I'll use the bathroom. Oh, hey, come here. You know, I get scared, you know. I get scared somebody's gonna run them over. You ready to go or what? This ain't time to play, bro. We gotta get home. Up. Oh, looks like he don't wanna use the bathroom. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, he don't like that collar, that chain. You ready to go? Yeah, he's ready to go. He don't think he's gonna pee. <laughs> 